I have no idea what we're getting into. I'm guessing it's gonna be forest. I'm guessing we're gonna see a lot of lakes, probably a dirt road, but there's very little. I tried to read up on it, there's nothing. So I'm really excited to find out what's here. The ultimate destination is just figuring out what my destination is. <laughs> All right, hey there, how are you doing everybody? Uh, we're gonna flip a coin because that's what we do every day, figure out where we're gonna go. All right, so today we can go, uh, well let's go with north or right. <laughs> not ambidextrous all right what's next all right we're going right i don't know what that means let's look it up that was a pretty sweet uh camping spot oh uh, man uh you know getting eaten my clothes eaten and some stuff stolen was just that uh my sure got eaten last night like that's proper eating crazy hey I also got robbed, so it's probably the same person. <laughs> Animal. <laughs> New shirt, I guess. Brady! There you go. Icing on the cake. Kind of funny. So, um, we are going to Lillooet, and we're going to figure out a route from there. So that's the plan for right now. But it's this uh, canyon road for a while, and then I think we go up into uh, another lake. There's lakes all over the place. Pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let's enjoy this awesomeness. What a scenery to be like this your first roll of the day. You're in this crazy deep canyon. We got uh, some cement and awesome, awesome views. Can you believe this? Wow. So rad. <laughs> oh, wow. We just came up a rise and now we're in this crazy huge valley that there's trees in front of that you can't see. So, uh, fast forward right now, I'll show you the valley. <laughs> dirt again nice so I don't know if you guys know this we're in British Columbia for one but British Columbia is enormous and there's like four people that live here I'm one of them so there's three other people that live here and we have this whole oh that's the other three right there that's our house <laughs> So there's very few people that live here, here really. So this whole province is just beautiful tree forests and plains and mountains and lakes. It's just insane and it goes on forever, figuratively. If anyone takes this show literally, first I apologize. And uh, you're gonna need some serious help. <laughs> Back on the dirt. area, um, I use the word area loosely, this um, corner of BC, there's all sorts of like these little communities that, um, that are really, really remote, extremely remote. So we'll hopefully get to bump into one of those today at some point. Hey, what's up, Adam? <laughs> so we're not too far away from Little, uh, I don't think. And there, we will should probably get some gas. And let's get some food, because I don't know if we're gonna hit another town for the rest of the day. 
So let's get some, uh, some whoa, that river is huge. Uh, let's get some food for tonight. A uh, little up, let's get some uh, food. Buy a little food, that's where we want to go. How about that? It's right here. Ah. Okay, we have grabbed some food for tonight. I'm excited for it, I really am. The route that I've found goes through just highway for a long time, but there's also another cut, which looks like it's gonna be a shortcut, but uh, every time I try a shortcut, like it ends poorly. So uh, if you wanna remember the uh, Honduras episode when I thought I had a two hour, <laughs> Uh, two hour shortcut and um, yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I'll put it up there, you can watch it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try this stupid shortcut and uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't want to be I am. So this is the other side of Duffy Lake Road, which I talked about in the previous episode. So it, it dumps off here. It's a cement road, super curvy, super fun. Very also dangerous. So, um, you know, if anyone wants to go do that, just uh, watch out for uh, irregular concrete, rocks in the road, and wildlife, obviously. So, here we are, man. Oh. So I think this is called the Fraser Valley. And uh, because this is the Fraser River we're about to go over, and it carved out a very, very large valley. We are about to cut off onto our shortcut. So if you want to uh, lay the whole problem of the rest of the day at any one specific thing, it's this left-hand turn right here. <laughs> and the problems begin. Okay, so... There's a road that goes up there, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get on that. So this is the town of Pavilion. And this is the Pavilion Clinton Road, and we're going to Clinton. All right, oh, sweet, there. That's why I wanted to get on this road. Is that moose? Cow moose. Please respect the cow moose. It's a cow moose project, sign project. All right, let's do this. <laughs> All right, yesterday was don't shoot the grizzly bears. We didn't bump into anyone. Thank you very much. And today is don't shoot the cow moose. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> this road is amazing. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> we climbed a lot. That's crazy. This is so cool. Awesome. <laughs> but this road has been amazing. Super red dirt. So cool. I love this stuff. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to say that you can travel dirt roads same as you can in the US. Because <laughs> this is wicked. And it didn't take a lot of looking at all. I mean, you can travel dirt in BC and I'm very happy for it. <laughs> Uh, over 1500 meters and we're just going down now looks like we just go left oh man this looks so great yeah we I mean if this is gonna be like where we're gonna be camping man I'm excited super excited 
proper going downhill here, which this would be super fun going up. Um, looks like we hit a lake. Dude, ripping. That's awesome. So I'm not the only one that's figured this out. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like there's a lake coming up. And uh, then at that lake, we take a right to go to Clinton. And I think there might be a campground at that lake. It's a little early to camp. One o'clock. <laughs> Crazy switchbacks. It's been awesome. This road going up would be so awesome. I gotta keep this in mind for sure in the future. All right, we're at the bottom of that hill in a valley and there's someone's house right there. Oh, another house. Oh wow, there's lots of houses. Are we in like a town? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, over there in Clinton. All right, we're going this way. <laughs> 18 kilometers Clinton. Wow, what an awesome road. I am so stoked that we found that, man. That is so cool. I definitely will do that again. Uh, I hope anyone living in BC, um, go do that. The Pavilion to Clinton Road. It's awesome, super fun. I think that lake's coming up too. Oh, look at that blue. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the color. Wow. Downing Lake. So beautiful. <laughs> uh. All right, we're in the village of Clinton. And in the village of Clinton, we're going to look and see where the hell we are. <laughs> uh, so we're about 20 kilometers north of Clinton and we just took a right and we're going into the unknown. I have no idea what we're getting into. I'm guessing it's going to be forest. I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of lakes, probably a dirt road, but there's very little. I tried to read up on it. There's nothing. So I'm really excited to find out what's here. It's um, yeah, slowly becoming the uh, the ultimate destination is just figuring out what my destination is. It's awesome. As you get further north in BC, there's fewer and fewer towns. We might see one in this uh, expanse. I'm not really sure. Hola, cow. Hola, cow. Hola, cow. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Did you see the look on that guy? <laughs> so there's a campground here. Wow, that's a cool looking river. Yeah, this is a little campground. Let's go check it out. Bonaparte River Bridge campground. Whoop. <laughs> nice. A little fun little dirt. Oh. Oh, it's like a single site thing. Nice. Wow, this is pretty cool. Oh, I want to stay here. Oh, it's so rad. It's way 2.15. Way too early. We'll come back here for sure. This is so cool. Look at this spot. If there's a campsite like this, kind of in 
at four o'clock or five o'clock when we, <laughs> we want to stop man i'll be so happy this is so nice wow on the map it says there's a town called violette that way but there is no road <laughs> and, uh, I am not going off piste for that. It looks like it might be part of a floodplain or a riverbed. I don't know. But I guess we're not going to Violette. Alright, we're on a new um, forest service road. This one's way more fun. <laughs> it's been super curvy and it's, uh, yeah, it's good proper dirt so we got this for a little bit longer and I think we turn off onto another one and then there's some campsites on a lake not too far after that so uh, yeah camping soon I'm kind of stoked well this is almost the end of this road which is a real bummer because it was been so much fun I hope the next road is equally as good what do we got what do we got for a service road. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Perfect. <laughs> All right, Blue Line. I'm really picking up what you're putting down. I'm getting the feeling like they don't want me here. <laughs> well, I don't know if, um, what's going on there there is another road that goes the other way or goes I don't know man I feel like that was it I don't know what to do so there's this, this road might be a bypass hopefully it's a bypass we got to get it back there though that is that could be a very large problem because we are properly in the middle of nowhere like no middle of absolutely oh look at that provincial park boundary oh man I think we might be screwed here that's a nice little camping spot though and this doesn't look positive although it does look like man it's a berm, so you can't get over it. Okay, let's go and investigate. I mean, it's not entirely impossible. Oh, this is really muddy. But it's definitely not, I, it's not the way I wanna go about things. And then you were just stuck here, so. Oh man, could be in some proper trouble here. Proper trouble. That blue line is us. There's this road. Look out in the middle of nowhere we are. Those cam loops there. We're in trouble. We're in real trouble. Uh -huh. So, we're doing some, <laughs> a little bit of backtracking and then some crazy exploring to get somewhere. I don't know, there's like a million lakes around here so we could probably just find a lake to go grab some water at for a river. And then, um, and we'll find a place to camp. Alright, so how this is looking, I might be able to meet back up with the line and still camp at the same place, but I have to go way off my line by quite a margin, so I don't know if the time, we have enough time to do it, but I mean, we'll give it a try. It's 4 o'clock right now, so we'll see how it goes. It's pretty, yeah, it's, we're biting off a lot right now. Yeah. 
All right, now I'm uh, now I've got like my uh, <laughs> now I'm even happier <laughs> than I was before because we're proper adventuring. I like it. <laughs> okay, I've got a s another option here uh, that I just saw. It's a forest road that um, it goes left and it might cut. I mean, I'm, I'm taking a chance here. Uh, deactivated road. Um, let's see if, see how far we can get on it. But it, this can, if we can meet up with this other road, um, and then that just really makes the shortcut smaller. So let's just hope. Now that I look at it, I've got 200 kilometers on this tank of gas. And, uh, well, again, we're in the middle of nowhere. So I don't really want to be just wandering around, wasting gas. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Take it easy, but yeah, if we could get, it looks like we can. I mean, if, it's, if the road goes all the way, we'd be stoked. This is a deactivated road, so I don't even know for sure that it is a, a through road. And it's got these things all over the place. <laughs> and another one. Looks like my left. Wow, this road is even worse. But it's going. We keep going until we can't, I guess. <laughs> We're proper exploring now. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, this has got to be a super old forest road. We just have to make sure, hopefully, this road goes. Not like the last one. Things have gotten a little crazier. Still good to get back up if we have to. <laughs> Man, the stuff I get myself into, hey? Oh no. It looks like it could be a boggy area. Mud. What do we got? Should be okay. Definitely taking the dry line. I mean, like before I was saying, like, you know, people haven't, I'm going somewhere where people are from BC haven't seen <laughs> this. Uh, this is properly that. No one from BC has seen this for quite some time, I bet. Right, coming up on a left. The whole thing is though, this is a, definitely a place where you want to bury a body I can't stress that enough that if I bump into someone, they're definitely bearing a body. <laughs> this is like prime bury, body burial <laughs> real estate right here. Okay, coming up on the left. Oh man, I really hope this checks out. Okay, so here we are. This is the left that is gonna take us back to the blue line. Uh, I really hope this works. This will be one for the books if it does. <laughs> There's another one of these decommissioned ditches. There's a lot of debris on the road. Obviously there's a lot of grass on the road. But, you know, I see this and the 
it's broken. It makes me think that um, there's been a few people going through here. This one's not good. Alright, we are so close to the blue line, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so, I can't believe this. We were so screwed there for a while, and then we kind of unscrewed ourselves, and then we came back around and decided to screw ourselves even more if this didn't work. And I mean, if you guys haven't seen the Olympic Peninsula day two, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I don't know, it's day three? Yeah, day three. Ah, man, you can be on one of these roads for a long time and get to the end and it's a gate. And you're on the wrong side of the gate. So let's not, let's not pat ourselves on the back quite yet. All right, another ditch. Hit a lot of these. <laughs> oh, don't be a gate, don't be a gate, don't be a, oh, yes. That scared me, that gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back, baby. Yes. <laughs> we're back on the blue line. Oh. Wow. Well, thank you very much for joining me on that crazy mission. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Where was that when I uh, <laughs> when I turned onto that road? Anyway, we got a cat. Our lake and campground is right coming up. I don't know. Uh, obviously, I've never been to it, so I don't know what it's all about. But it looks like there's two campsites. Here we go. Okay. Some people. People. This is one. I'm pretty happy with this spot. leg view <laughs> uh, water access I like it so we're all settled in at camp and uh, we're gonna cook up some food I have gotten a breaded pork cutlet parmesan <laughs> that's how it goes so uh, I'm also gonna cook up another one of those safety foods because the last one was terrible. So if they're not good for safety foods, they're just not good for food. So we'll um, try that and uh, that'll be dinner. So we're gonna do it all on, um, on the jet boil. It'll work out, I'm sure. Look at, this is what I'm gonna add water to. And I'm gonna put that in my mouth. It's really good. If hopefully the chicken teriyaki rice I think I've had it before and I think it was really good. I've, the only one I've really ever had trouble with is the Alfredo, which famously on the Olympic Peninsula never cooked. So this also has been in my bag for a year and a half, maybe even two. It might not work, but either way, we're ready to go. You got. That was one for the books, for sure. So now um, all my water ratios are me messed up. And um, yeah, I'm wearing half of it. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a, um, <laughs> a breaded Parmesan schnitzel. Of course that's what I get. It was two bucks off, why not? <laughs> Cooking on this pedestal thingy is, I don't know, it's nerve wracking because it feels like it's just gonna fall off at any given moment and I will definitely help it off um, There's no way that, that I'm really the person that should be operating this type of machinery I've knocked the pan off before and ruined my meal. So Here we go again. I mean, I've already ruined that part of my meal Yeah, I got neighbors now and uh, they have firewood. So we're gonna share the fire ring and have uh, a good old time around the fire. Quite excited. All right, this is gonna be a good meal. I don't, I don't care about all the stuff I said earlier. This is gonna be good. Oh, definitely. Nice. My uh, obvious choice 
Let's just go with this for starters. On a total food scale, it would rate pretty low, but on a rate today, camping food scale, it rates pretty high. And then schnitzel. Schnitzel needs to go on longer. <laughs> Way better. Oh, that's pretty good. The Parmesan just makes it. What a weird day. So let's just recap. We took a left-hand turn, a shortcut that worked out. That's pretty rare. Went out on that road and it was awesome. Oh yeah, the roadblock. The roadblock was terrible, but we did find a way. We still don't know if we have enough gas. I don't even really know where we are or relative to anything. So um, we'll figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> I love leaving things till tomorrow. All the safety food's gone. It was a pretty good day. I mean, we saw some cool stuff. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you dug this episode, give me like a little mini thumbs up or a big thumbs up or a high five. It's all the same button. Tell your friends about this because, um, you know, I want everyone to know how stupid I am. <laughs> we can't cook. Anyway, uh, and if you want to see me run out of gas tomorrow, click on the old subscribe button and we'll go out there, find someone and make them laugh.